Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero where we want to be going for the Delta Station Dock. I did play a tiny bit off screen just grabbing a few more fish so that we have... Uh, I don't like the map, thank you. Um, is the light on? No, good. Um, just want to have enough stuff available. Is this a different biome? Looks like it. Goes deeper. No. I'm very intrigued. Great, that was coral. I should have scanned for it. That's Morse code. Sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. 200 meters deep, so we need Oxygen. to somehow get to it. And we also got another. Uh, did we get a new one? No, we didn't get a new one. But if we got a distress call at 200 meters in this biome, we'll go for that, definitely. And we got something in the data bank, which is this, exploitable in computer ship fabrication. Yeah, as we knew. Uh, do I want to make a computer ship already? Don't really. Let's go towards the data station dock. That's what we had in mind to do for this episode so that's what we're going to do so on the way there we have this biome which is the same as our starting biome but deeper it seems could grab a few of those but i don't really want to grab stuff now how many to to that looks weirdly slanted i just grab one because i'm stupid I didn't grab the second one during the distress crawl thing. So let's go deeper again and find it. What the fuck is that? Warning, passing 100 meters. Extra Oxygen shark. Efficiency decreased. Pick up. Oxygen. Got it, got it, got it, got it. What the fuck is wrong with you, game? Okay. Show me stuff about the shark. Minor threat. Relative streamlined body enables fast navigation. Slow moving ambushes small fish from above. Don't swim below it. Okay. Look at that teeth. I didn't didn't realize how it actually looked. Okay. Uh, that way. Almost halfway there. Should grab another cor uh, coral though. There it is. They seem to be fairly common here. New biome, new new biome. Volcano stuff. Will be warmer here. Is this something different? No. Looking for like volcanic rock or anything like that. This is not new. Oh. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Calaverite. Chance of God. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
chance of gold here. I mean, we have the one gold we want for the wrong one. Uh, we want for the thing. And we are at land. Is that the beacon? Ah, that was the beacon. Okay. So this is the dog of the thing uh, we have to find. Benches. The desk. The coffee machine. The coffee machine. We could pick up that, but that's just a trash can. Trash can is nice. We want to throw away items because I think I remember it being actually working. Taking the water, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'll be looking at floodlight. We'll definitely be worrying about uh, temperatures soon. That's why I'm going back in the water. Okay. We found a structure. We, we found something. I want to have that station dog be uh, still be marked. And that's the radio this tower. Is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. We're trespassing, so we'll be following these things. I assume. Okay, cave, why not? Thermal lily. Can we... We It doesn't say that it's exploitable. As, what is this? Ah, up here. Galavarite, that's gold and titanium. And this is long-term exposure to geothermal emission might pose a risk. Yeah, we know that. And it's a floodlight we found. That's all we care about now. We knew that. Thermos. Insulated storage receptacle for beverages. We can take hot stuff uh, with us with that. Like hot coffee uh, to use against uh, being too cold. Good. Good, good, good. Um, okay. Had to shake. And we'll have, we'll have this out all the time. Like the stairs. I'd like to take the stairs with me. We want to go towards that radio tower. Blue scrub brush. Edible? No. Capture and store the sun seed. But we can't. What? Snow? Snowball. Okay. That stuff we can scan. Honeycomb fungus. Useful? Not. That's not new. There's a cave here. We'll be looking into the cave in a second. We want to go up towards the radio tower. I know it's cold, but we want to find stuff here. That's another cave. We actually want to go up. Crystal and sulfur. For what? Advanced fabrication. That was like really late game resource. Didn't we? No, that's... Yet other was honeycomb. This is horseshoe. Fruit can be harvested and planted and could be a sustainable food source. Let's see. Where is it? Problem is it would spoil. Yeah, just... Oh, it also gets gives me health back. Okay. Pick another one of those because it doesn't say that it spoils. Maybe it's not like a spoiling process thing. Uh, 
Ah, we have that already. Emanuel's special request gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the nece necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep it on the no down low. Okay, that's just lore about this mineral detector fragment that we already had. So we got a bit of uh, cave sulfur now. No, that, that, that's not cave sulfur, that's the other sulfur. Uh, the crystalline stuff. That was endgame, that was only in the lava place. Whoa. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Stay off my land, says the unidentified woman. That shrecked me so the hard. The in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location <laughs> uploaded to PDA. That's data station dog. That's pilot far last known location. Okay, we'll follow her at some point. Let's go first up to the radio tower. Wow, this is having some weird distortions every now and then. The imagery. Nothing here. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status? In uh -oh. Temperature. Hypothermia imminent. Temperature. Okay, uh, I'll be going to that. That's so set. There's a satellite which is surveying the planet. So let's see about that. They are flying animals. Satellite surveillance active status report. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Observe and prepare for possible intervention. Okay. So there are only us two on this planet. That's good to know. So everything else will be either like a hallucination, something like that. Test override module port. Why would I do that? New employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is fully functional, simulated version of life mode. While in test mode, all communications from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions, will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the te insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted by the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override mode has been inserted. Ah, that's the port for it. Okay, we need a test override module to start the test. Good. So we know what to do. I saw the bird again. Temperature. And then over to the bases. Uh, multiple bases. We came from that side. A scanner room. Don't really want to start a base with the st scanner room because then I can't enter because I don't have a hatch. There was something that wanted to be scanned. Builder frag. The habitat builder. We have the habitat builder. I take it back. We can start a base now. Solar panel. 
uh, control C. Bioreactor and stuff, we get more blueprints. Uh, keyboard. Crouch. Crouch. Move up space, move down C. So C would be crouch if crouch was implemented. But it isn't. Battery charger. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Advanced wiring kit. Fuck. Temperature. We know that the plant is up here. We need thermal insulation suits. Okay. Why can't I enter this place? Oh, we can. Good. Can I? Yeah, multi-purpose room. Oh, that's taking a long time. Oh! It's warm inside here, yeah, great. Didn't have to do the detour. Can't scan the hatch, but we have the all-powerful multi-purpose room. A locker. That's not working. Jukebox! Listen to so soothing tunes. Uh, do we have anything else here? No. Jukebox speakers and stuff. We've seen that all. Don't need that anymore. Uh, that's the habitat builder. Pin that. That's what we need. The scanner room upgrade, spe uh, range upgrade, speed upgrade, drone, scanner room hut ship. Uh, compartments, vertical connector, reinforcement, hatches. Okay, we start with hatches and normal compartments. That's good to know. Power transmitter, cables. Extends the range of power source. Okay, bioreactors. And a sign. Good to know. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Why oh, I'm just do we have different bits? I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. We got different logs, more PDAs. There's a lot of stuff we'll have to listen to. Open shaving kit. Pick up Fred's shaving kit. Okay. Frame picture. Sam's penguin drawing. Okay. Then we got Fred Lachance, IT, courier and maintenance generalist. Uh, reports to Emmanuel Desjardins. Current project various. And then we have Jeremiah Mergel. He's a technician. Communication tower maintenance. Okay. I mean, they're all dead, but... Good. I uh, don't want to miss out on too much stuff here, so... Uh, just gonna close it back, because it will open when we get new stuff, and thus we find it faster. New blueprints. Why do we have different for Jeremiah and Fred? A war chef bar table. What else did we get? Anything useful? Advanced wiring kit. Wiring kit and computer ship. Okay. We got stuff in our inventory. 
problem is stuff like this fancy shaving kit like that will just clutter my inventory stuff like that wall shelves definitely going for that jenny you wouldn't believe the adventure i'm having it's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city only sea monsters aren't pretend and i don't need to hide behind you when one swims by because i'm safe in my sea truck safe and very very brave please tell dad for me thanks so much for the mustache kit by the way to be honest i wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first personal grooming is something of a challenge here and as you know i'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with but you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency there have been some close scrapes for a while there someone was sabotaging my truck and i thought i was seeing things but my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> We got a map, so we have the data station, that's where we are now. Then there is, uh, we have a Phi robotic center, Phi should be this symbol, it's in the mountains somewhere over there. Then we have outpost zero, which is that one, Xenobiological research, that's just off the island. Then we have copper mining site, I'm assuming it's that one up there, and then we have the Omega lab, that's Omega. The Greek letter Omega. We got a lot of blueprints also, and one of them, um, Thermoblade. Definitely pinning that. Didn't know when I got that, but whatever. We definitely want a modification station, another computer ship we need for that. Walsh have some swivel share. Okay. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Do we have more? Just want to look at more posters if possible. I like that sea truck poster. Um, I'm taking this map. I can't take the map with me. Oh, that's, that's a shame. We have a second building if we go up here. The problem is it's gone dark night with heavy rain again, which is not good. Um, for visibility stuff. Manuel Desjardins. Human resources and communication liaison. What's that? Map and come in handy. Yeah, we just listened to that. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. That's the third bed we've got. Executive desk. It's looking nicer than the other one. Let's listen. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Yeah, I want to... Sam really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. So the observatory is a great room. I really like those on, on bases. And uh, we also got a planter, which is good. Different plant pots. Hoping that they should be fine for uh, 
using them to plant Gandhi, stuff? You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Problem is it's so dark I can barely see stuff, especially dark and snow at the same time. And I really like the look of that planet on the on the sky. Uh, we are low on water. Uh, filtered water is what I want to drink first. Because it's the one that comes the cheapest. Um, that doesn't spoil, that's good. We are now also got aquarium, plant pot, Manuel's bed, executive deck, and then this his toy so that we don't need to pick it up. Observatory, glass compartments. Glass compartments is good. And I made glass that's oh not shark tooth anymore. That's good. Because I didn't like hunting for those. We got a lot of new blueprints uh, ready to be going. Is that the uh, freaking hell? The problem is it's so dark I could have now easily missed like this test module thing that we are looking for here. Just wanna... The problem is I will not be able to uh, use the... I use the beds here, will I? To sleep? Uh, that would have been the perfect thing to be able to use those beds. To sleep through the night so that it becomes day again. It's getting more light, that's good. Because I don't want to miss like a building. Don't want to follow her directly, actually. Actually, would rather gonna go back to base and start producing that habitat builder and stuff. That's not good. There's only one way to this base and it leads that way. I mean, there was... Eh? Okay, that had a cliff, that side. Does this side also have a cliff? No. That leads to cave. Okay, that's a cliff. That leads to cave. Gold. Thank you. We need more gold. For more of our things. We don't need titanium though. Trying to fly away. Come on. You're in reach. You must be in reach. And it flew through the rock. Okay, they are sky rays. Thank you. We'll slowly get it. It doesn't matter if we like get it over several different sky rays because it doesn't go down to zero again. I think. More gold, titanium, gold, pick up the titanium, gold, gold, what are you? What are you? And why are you here? And what's that? 
build. Problem is, I'm I'm having the same thing again as in all the the inventory is full. Okay, as in all the RPGs, just rubbing my head against every wall and not really getting anything out of that. Inventory is full, but we can now start trying to eat stuff. Where's the cute stuff? Pick up that item and a nutrient block. And we'll eat this one. I think it will still do the thing where we'll be slower if we are if we've overeaten. Was this one? No, it was storing sun, but it didn't give up the the heat. Okay. Good. Crystalline sulfur if we want it. Good, back to base. Back to base for crafting purposes. But underwater because I want to see stuff if we like. Wait. Not beacons, not voice log, data bank, not a part together. Where's the map? Yeah. It's upper zero southeast of the data island. Data island is behind me, which is south. So on the other side, that's where the woman went to. Upper zero. So we can just follow her signal. But I want to dive deeper here first, in this biome. First of all, let's get back to that place and then start building a base so that we can store more stuff. And since this is north of Delta, but still in the water, I think this is pretty much in the middle of the map, so it's a perfect place to uh, actually build a base there and just extend upon the the life port. I don't think this map is big, as big as Subnautica, so uh, we don't won't need to have like multiple bases and stuff, just use this to expand on. Go in. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings, like I knew they'd do to mine once they took over Xenoworks. I tried to warn her. She was stubborn, like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier, faster, less play by the rules. But Sam didn't tolerate Altera's corporate red tape any more than I did. She just... tried to change it from the inside. I think in the end, we always wanted similar things. We don't have copper. We have more gold now, but we don't have copper. Put in the th important things like this. Take out, we might be needing advanced firing kits. Put in the disinfected waters. We might be needing uh, a lot of stuff actually. But first we have to go for copper. Copper is just a thing. Not Galena. Limestone is the right one. Don't need titanium. 
Don't need titanium. Need copper now. One copper. We need at least one more copper to make one copper wire. That way. Don't need titanium. Listen to me, man. Girl. Robin. That's our first one. That will get us... Mm, oh, we need all of them. We need all of them, so we need at least two more copper. I, I know it's silly that I scan for the most common thing. But if I just don't see it on my screen, it's worth it to scan for it. We want all the things that are marked. That I, that I pinned. Oxygen. And so, uh, we should start going for that. That's the cave where I found silver and gold. We're actually very far away from our next target, which is her place. There is now that sea glide, not limestone. Breaking air, just give me, I think, one more copper. Yes, one more copper. Also should really look into my inventory to... I just had the... Uh, Oxygen. I just thought about is it alphabetical because copper is so much uh, at the begin uh, so uh, so so early in the inventory and I want to have a look at that to confirm that which will help me not search for stuff later snowball and there and before snowball is table chorus so no it's not we want computer ships and copper wire so two copper wire Computer ships, one. We don't have enough Tiber Coral for another one. Great. So we could now build a mobile vehicle bay, which is the least of these that I need. Um, I wanted to make battery. For that, we need fucking copper for the thermal blade, because I want to exchange this for thermal blade. Just to directly cook. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, just to die. I can still catch the bladder fish. I was just shortly thinking about not that having that not working. Okay, so we need a battery, and for that we need one copper ore. I didn't get enough. Uh, what can I do here? Uh, that's just new stuff that's marked. Yeah, great. Um, should drink one. <laughs> disinfected. All of that's disinfected. Let's just take that. And I pressed I for inventory again. I'm genius. Come on, give me a beep. I already saw it with my own eyes. I saw that one, but this one's also okay. It's titanium. Give me copper! Yeah, it had red water in the screen when I picked it up because it was in between us. Good! First things first, the habitat builder. Want to get started on that. As soon as I have the Habitat Builder, I'll end the episode. Next episode, we'll be starting with Habitat Building. And we'll do that very slow in the beginning. And then I'll do a lot of that off screen. But in the beginning, I want to show you how it works. Uh, equipment tools. Could go for the repair tool. 
Just have one. Doesn't hurt to have one. And the habitat builder. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising a Sorry. Against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. Okay, so this is our Habitat Builder tool and we're gonna check it out in the next episode. Have a nice day, see you tomorrow. <laughs>